Hi guys, it's Sam from Raggedy Bits. I'm going to share with you today how easy it is to transform a plain old boring IKEA pillow into something fun using IOD, Iron Ought to Design, decor stamps. So for today's project, we're going to be using uh, IKEA cushions, uh, which are the girly uh, 20 by 20 or 50 by uh, 50 centimeters. The inner that goes with it, uh, IOD decor stamps, and I'll show you how to I'd turn this into a wreath. Um, that is the uh, floral swag, and then the uh, farm animals. I'll be using the bunny rabbit today because I've already pre-stamped a couple of these other farm animals um, previously. And the typesetting stamp which comes in two uh, sheets and it's also an uppercase and a lowercase and also numbers. Uh, I'll be using the colour stone grey ink uh, which I love because it gives a really nice vintage washed out effect. And then we've got the brayer which is how you apply the ink onto the stamps. So I've just given the uh, cushion cover a quick iron just to get rid of any uh, wrinkles in the in the fabric and then we will lay out the design on how uh, we would like it on the cushion. Uh, you don't necessarily have to follow the way that I'm going to do it but um, you can you know the, the possibilities are endless with what you can do with the designs and it's up to your creativity. So what I've done is I've just laid out uh, one of the swags from the floral swags uh, stamp set, the bunny um, and the word bunny down underneath. Obviously there's only one end so we'll uh, freestyle that, stamp that after we've finished our design. Uh, as I said you can do whatever design you like. If it's the first time that you're using your um, stamps I strongly suggest that you just grab a little bit of um, sandpaper and on the actual stamp just lightly give it a sand just to rough it up a little bit this just helps the um, the ink adhere to the paint a little bit better so this is the first time I've used the bunny one so I'm gonna give that one a little bit of a scrub too okay so I've just just laid it out and it's always stamped down um, and of course then I will flip that over that way as well so that will be the bottom of the wreath and that's how you form the wreath if you wanted to put this design on your, to your pillow. So once you've laid that out, um, again I eyeball everything, you've probably heard it a thousand times but I do eyeball everything. Um, if you um, want to make sure that everything's straight um, then use a ruler or a tape measure at this point to measure it all out and make sure it's um, straight. So I've just joined together two of the transfer sheets which are on top of the stamp sets when they come in and I'm just going to pop that straight down onto the design and I'm just going to push over the top of that just to make sure that everything's um, stuck to the transfer film and then I'm going to flip it over so your stamp is now stuck to the transfer film. And then I'm just going to use one of the inserts of the uh, stamp sets and I'm going to drop out a little bit of ink. I'm not going to need too much. And then I'm just grabbing my brayer. I'm just going to go like this to get... on the brayer and then I'm just going to lightly go over the stamp design so you're just going to make want to make sure that you don't get any of the ink onto the transfer film because that'll end up on your pillow and you just want to try and get all the detail that you can um, of you know like the bunnies whiskers and um, the design of the floral swag. Just go around your design and just make sure, always have a bit of paper towel 
handy. And then, just put this back over. We're going to flip it and put it onto our onto our cushion. So again, I'm just eyeballing everything. drop it and just run your fingers over the top of your design always having hold of the stamp in a spot so that it doesn't slip and then you just pull it off like so and then I'm just going to grab the bottom half of this wreath, just apply a little bit more ink, Let me peel it off. Line it up and just make sure that it's all in line with your top half of your wreath. And then just drop holding, run your fingers over the top. And then just pull off. And I'll just grab the other end. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed this really simple uh, tutorial on how to jazz up an IKEA cushion cover. I'll be sure to leave the link below for the full tutorial over on my blog and also all of the supplies that I used in this project so you can make it too. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and I really look forward to bringing you some future DIYs. Mm -hmm.